Hey guys, I'm Shark back playing and doing a how to perfectly Galio mid in season 12. So, like usual, guys, if you enjoy, make sure to smash the like, comment, subscribe. Those are the runes we took Predator, Taste of Blood, Eyeball Collection, Ingenuous Hunter, Bone Plating, Unflinch. Those are the runes that's there. And this lane we're playing against uh, Yasuo, pretty medium difficulty matchup. So, ever since teleport changes went through, now it's, I, I don't know what to say, like. 24 7 most optimal but like especially against these fizzes silas's all these champs you can actually run the ignite setup and just play for the lane since you know you can't actually tp roam early on but i mean i think tp roaming was a thing mostly done in high elo not really low elo so eh, probably won't change the way you play galio so we're playing against yasuo a lane where he wins extended long trades we win short bursty trades but we will always have a uh, wave prio or we're just going to shove him in. And he can't do anything necessarily about that. Nice Q. But every time he prioritizes, he prioritizes queuing me over minions, uh, we're going to get the wave shoved. So yeah, we're just going to get the wave shoved. Now we have W. And I mean, you're still impactful to your team, nevertheless. I have to dodge the Q. All right, Shaco jungle too, so we have to be careful. I'm gonna queue him to get his plating off. Uh, Shaco started top side, I think. W him, and I mean just like that, he thinks we're going for the minions, but we're trying to pressure him within the lane. And our level three E doesn't want. Oh my God, Riot Games! Our level 3 E doesn't one shot the back wave, but our uh, level 4 one does. Can't believe I missed the cannon. It's just so. So terrible. I was literally lagging. It's crazy. Uh, I'm going to go Everfrost, but. Ay, ay, ay. Alright, whatever. Want the AP because we're playing for the 1v1. Predator boots, you want to get so early. At some people even rush boots. I mean, you can do that, but I think Dark Seal Durin is just a better start. Dark Seal or Durin, pick one. Dark Seal is more for fast trading. Durin's more for the extended long laning phases. Now, our level, yeah, it's level three, so it doesn't one shot the back wave. That that combo. You don't want to get shoved under tower because Galio is actually pretty bad at farming under tower. Oh, he didn't sidestep or try to. You got him. Oh, it's because I didn't have my E. Sorry. Oh, we're getting ganked. Look at this guy. Okay, we can focus both. Oh, this is an extended long trade now. It's not good. Yes, it is. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Play for those 2v2s. That's what Galio is strong at. Focusing one target or even AoEing multiple targets. But your CC just pairs up really nicely with these aggressive junglers. And you're always going to have wave, wave clear prial. Could probably just go magic pen boots. Yeah, that's probably what I'll do. Go magic pen boots over lucidity this game since we can buy it. Yep, yep, yep. I'm gonna E back mid. Could have went uh lucid get lucidity if that's the only gold you have, but I have enough for magic pen. And our ignites is almost back up, so we have more fighting power. Nice one. <laughs> I don't want him to clear the vision. I just want to get his shield off. Still hit him there. He already eats, so we can hit him there. And we might just use our predator. Might just use our predator to get the guaranteed engage and then try to all in him there. But I mean, we can look for the roam wherever fights are being played. 
Just clip him up. And with Predator, you can't get kited. Even after the nerfs, I mean, Predator's just too strong. At least on Galio. You could try Aftershock, which will give you a stronger laning phase. But, I mean, Predator just gives you that, that stick potential you want. When Shaco comes mid, I can uh, probably 1v1 him. Just gonna go like that. Oh, yeah, yeah. I don't want him to cancel my recall. Get lost chapter. We can assist wherever there's fights. Now we just look for the AFK shove in Rome. Typically. And we have to be careful about how we use our E because once we once we use our E within lane, we don't have anything to escape with. Even then they could stand in front of my E, but you know, you get the idea. Might look for the predator roam here. Yep. If they shove in the wave under their tower, it's the easy roam. Without a doubt. This is the easiest roam. You have to be looking at your map, panning your camera. I mean, I got that off. I have R. Crash the wave in. We're playing patient. Got another one. Taunted both and oh my god. No, that's so bad. I needed to taunt both and then E out. Ah, oh, God. Oh my god. That's so unlucky. Honestly, probably it's better if Sedge would have tanked. Since his Q is, or her Q is easier to execute. Unlucky. Well, I guess things happen. It doesn't really put Galio or the Yasuo back into the game. Since he's a little bit too far behind to make an impact. Our Predator's back up. We can look for another roam. Want to keep him in the lane as long as possible. R.I.P. Because if he stayed in lane, we would have item advantage. I might be able to look for another roam bot. Literally. Every time your predator is off cooldown, I mean... Very much so doable. That's a fake. Is it? What? I'm so cheesed. I do have my ult just in case that they do get engaged on, but. Yeah. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. It's AD Shaco. So his burst is more heavily towards uh, his autos. We have enough for Everfrost. Nice. And I mean, yeah, Zonia's is pretty standard second. That's probably what we'll go anyways. More recording. I am nice. Oh, I love the way they what? We actually, as soon as I checked if I was recording, we actually went for the drag. Kind of insane. Shoving mid then roam. That's the name of the game. At least on Galio. 
probably can run it up top side now. Yeah. Timo not getting dove here should be illegal, honestly. It's free low. Legit, even if they know I'm coming top, I mean, it is literally free low. It's literally free low, without a doubt. Like, even if he knows I'm coming top, Timo can't do that. His champ has no mobility. We can take one tower plating too, before we E out. His champ has no mobility, and it's like... He was low too. Do I have enough burst? That is so unlucky. Hey, we'll take it. We'll take it. He also is taking tower planning's mid, but we're making impact elsewhere. Uh see, a lot of items can work. I don't even have enough healing for that. It's only Yasuo. I guess we will go Zonius. The pretty standard build. Nine times out of ten, it's the Zonius. Sometimes it's Morellos, and on rare occasions, you can actually opt for uh, what's it called more damage with like Death Cap. I don't recommend. I do not recommend Zonias or Morellos. You gotta have. HP slash tankiness and then utility. Whether you need more anti heal or just survivability, it's an essential. Alright, let's push that in. War technique. Place it right in the middle so it dashes over the wall. There's two tower platings for us. Alright. Relax, Shaco. Relax. Probably is our tower, though. He doesn't even want to go into E range. Since when you get ahead on, uh, what's it called? Galio, this is the type of control you can get. Now we're trying to roam bot. Trying to. Emphasis on trying to. Is it warded? Probably not, but we have stopwatch, so. What? Yeah. I mean, it's one for one. Uh, it could have been a lot cleaner. Just in general. I feel like that's more on bot lane, though. If it was going to be more clean. Since they needed to either crash it under tower or let them push out. That awkward spot they had it in was kind of questionable. But, eh, it's okay. Oh, wait, actually? No, because they would have went to their tower. I technically could have ard, But, I mean, it, maybe the shield would have saved them, you know? Nice. Nice one, Sedge. I have to like look at that again. You just want to take mid tower and now start influencing other sides of the map. The Lowey's FFing. Oh, gotta love the League of Legends top lane spirit. <laughs> it's either their win con or it's GG well played. Nice. I can one shot the misfortune though, so we're chilling. All right, Cena. Nice. Nice. Nice kill. Nice. Very enjoyable. Oh, man. <laughs> Jesus. Well, to be fair, Galio isn't a complete assassin. He does have assassin-like damage if fed like this. But sometimes... uh, What's it called? Oh, what the... We ever frosted him, so that way he can ulti or Q. 
Oh, and just like that, they forfeit. Like, comment, subscribe. I'm out.